beauties this is Carla welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm back with a very fun video I'm pretty sure most of you guys saw Kylie's look for Halloween she was a Fanta girl and she went with a very simple look but it was so pretty the yellow in the inner corner I loved it so I decided I wanted to give it give it a try and recreate it for you guys so that's what we're gonna do today. And also I do want to say, excuse my hair, I know it's a hot mess, but Kylie is blonde, obviously. And I don't have a blonde wig, but I do have this silver, I know it has the purple ends, but you won't be able to see that. It's like a silver haired wig, so you know, close enough, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna throw this on at the end of the video, and yeah. So excuse my hair. And I do want to apologize if the background distracts you. I know my dining room is like in the way. So just ignore it for today. Um, as you guys can tell, I already did my eyebrows. I have started using the eyebrow, the dip brow pomade from ABH again. I have no idea why I ever stopped, honestly. It's not that I didn't like it, but somehow I started using the definer and... From the definer, I started using nothing but pencils from different brands. So I guess without any further ado, let's get started. To prime, I'm going in with the Cover Fix Blurring Primer. I did uh, use moisturizer before I started the video and I used the Cetaphil. I don't have it here with me, but that's like my go-to moisturizer and that's what I have to use whenever it's cold outside because my skin will get super, super dry. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm like literally almost out and I have no idea what shade this is in. Tarte Shape Tape in Medium. Now I'm going to set my face using the Airspun uh, Loose Face Powder and this is the Translucent. Bronze on my face, I'm going in with the Benefit Chicathon palette, picking up the hula with this small BH Cosmetics uh, tapered brush. This is my favorite brush because it's small and you can really get in there, girl. Now, she didn't really have like anything too crazy in the picture for contour, um, but she did go heavy with the blush, which I know for a fact I have mentioned before that I am not a blush person like I don't know why I just don't like it Excuse the like bright ass orange lips, but it's a lip plumber lip plumber that I have. I don't know if I've talked about it before on here, but um, it's by Grande Lips. It's a hydrating lip plumber. I got this in a boxy charm, um, one of these months. I don't remember when. And oh my god, I had never tried a lip plumber before. I heard great things about the Too Faced one, but I was like, mm, really, it's gonna make your lips bigger. I don't know. But when I got this one, I was like, let me give it a try. Yeah, it works. Like, I just put it on, it's already stinging. So I put it on, and then I wipe it off, and I apply my makeup. I wish I had a clear one, and I'm going to get a clear one, whether it be the Too Faced one or if I order from them, because they do have other shades. But I have this one now. So I'm just going to use this one up, and then, you know, on this side. Okay, so to prime the lids, I'm going to go in with Shape Tape.
in the picture it doesn't really look like Kylie has anything on the eye except for the yellow but I, I feel like she has like a grayish toned brown on the crease I don't know why it looks that way to me like I'm zooming in and it definitely looks that way and since I have a hooded eye I also feel like it's gonna give the eye like a better shape I'm using the Huda Beauty this is the what's it called rose gold edition this was the first one one of my favorites and I'm gonna go in with the color sway is this grayish tone brown I'm gonna grab the smallest amount that color calavera from the full spectrum palette you guys it's not looking as bright as i wanted it to look let me go in with the 12 piece from morphe okay that looks better you guys see my lips you see how big they look i'm telling you it works i just don't like the color bella terra mineral cosmetics and it's like a loose pigment and it's like yellow but it has like that like kind of hollow look to it holographic i'm literally just gonna place it right on the inner corner i'm not gonna go all out like i did with the rest of the shadow For liner, I'm gonna go in with the Stila Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in with the same uh, dark, I mean with the same gray toned um, brown that I used for my crease. This is Wet and Wild. I'm gonna use this uh, Tarte, Tarte, Tarte. East Tardis Tardis it's a tart lash paint mascara it's like a little sample one I think she's not wearing highlights she has a really bright under eye though I'm noticing that like right shade of light palette and take the shade in the center which is like almost gone I'm gonna go in with the cheeks on and I'm gonna take that pink as dandelion ah! I don't want to put so much blush on and I'm picking up dandelion I am so nervous like so nervous Oh, it doesn't look bad, huh? I oh, know it doesn't. For lip liner, I'm going to use the OCC Penny Royal Cosmetics. Lip liner is one of my favorites because it has that grayish undertone it's a brown but it has a grayish undertone and i think when you use it to contour your lips like you really put it down here look at that 
You make them look so big, so big. Okay, so for lips, I'm going in with Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. And I'm gonna concentrate the most product like on the outer corner of the lips. Cause I wanna create sort of like an ombre effect with a lighter color in the center. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. So now I'm just gonna apply that on the center. Okay, so I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Lashes are on, and these are just some small ones. Uh, it says right here 102s from my local beauty supply store, the ones that come in the little blue packet like this. Dual glue, black one, and doesn't look too bad, huh? So this is the finished result, wig on and everything. I didn't have a jacket like she did. She's kind of like off the shoulder with the little jacket posing. So I just threw my robe on. It's a very simple, very fun look and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you very much. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. What would you like to see next? Thank you for all of your support. It really means the world to me. Until next time, bye beauties.